Hello, well, thanks for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If this is your first time here, consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep watching. In today's video, I'm just sharing with you some very simple and easy functional fall decor. For the first one, I have two of these wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using a piece of one of these wood pieces out of the Dollar Tree as well. What I'm going to be doing is painting both of these pumpkin using some Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin. I'm just cutting the tags off and then I'm going to give them two coats. I'm going to be painting both sides, front and back of the pumpkins. This project is very simple, but it's functional and it's bringing fall to your home. I originally was going to go with one of those green colors that I've been using, but since this is going to end up in the kitchen, I thought why, why not just go with this traditional orange color. It's so beautiful and as you can see, I painted front and back. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to wrap the top of these um, stems using some jute cord. I was just making sure that the stems are facing the same way because, because that does matter when I attach these pieces together. So I'm just adding some jute cord to the very tip of the stem um, on the front side and the back side to make sure that everything is secure. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it around the previous cord and I only have to now add glue here and there just to make sure that everything is tacked down. What I am creating is a paper plate holder. I keep paper plates around the house for the boys otherwise I will be washing tons of dishes. So I'm just tacking down the jute cord in the back and then I'm going to repeat that step and cover the other pumpkin stem. Once I have both of them wrapped, I'm going to add just a little bit embellishment. I found this pretty pick at Hobby Lobby for um, $1.79. It was 40% off. I love the color of the leaves. and these little berry pieces are so cute so i just cut one stem of each piece off and i'm just going to hot glue it right down below the stem i'm adding the leaf first and then i'm going to add the little berry pick once i get that attached i'm going to add one of each to the second pumpkin but i'm going to make sure that the stem is facing the other direction so all i'm going to do is flip it over and then I'm going to attach those two pieces. I want this um, paper plate holder to look the same on both sides so that you can use this as a centerpiece and it still looks beautiful from whichever side you was looking at it from. So once I get that attached, now I'm gonna take that um, jute cord and create two little basic bows to hot glue right in the center of my leaves and my little berries. I didn't want to do too much to these pumpkins. I wanted to keep them very simple and pretty. So once I attach my bows, then I'm going to take that piece of wood from the Dollar Tree and I'm just measuring how much I need. So I'm just placing it right on the pumpkin and then I'm going to mark it. And then I'll just use my minor box and saw to cut that down. Once I get it cut down, I'm actually going to be using both of these pieces i'm going to use that smaller piece in the second diy so now i'm going to take some waverly wax chalk paint to stain this piece once i get that complete i'm going to attach my three pieces together so first i'm just going to line up where I want it to be attached at. And then I'm gonna use some hot glue. I do recommend some wood glue. I am using the Gorilla Glue Sticks and they work well, but if you just want to make sure that everything is nice 
and secure and stays in place i do recommend wood glue but like i say with these gorilla gorilla glue sticks everything stays intact so now i'm just lining up the pumpkin on the other side and as you can see i have the stems facing the same direction and you can see the decor on both sides i'm just adding the glue and then i'm going to attach that piece and then once i get everything stable that will be it i'm going to add some paper plates to this and i think it came out so cute i absolutely love it i also found this cute little sign from the dollar tree that has these little beads for a hanger and i decided to style that with this pumpkin as well i think it just came out so cute it looks great either way Now for my next DIY, I'm going to use these two fall wood leaves out of the Dollar Tree. They do have a letter on them in black. I think these are so pretty. I'm going to keep that side just the way it is. And I'm actually going to flip them on the other side and use my sage color paint and give the other side two coats. Letting it dry in between each coat. And I'm not going to paint the sides of these. I'm just painting the back side and the stem the front of the stem at the bottom so after i get both of these painted what i am going to do is use some waverly wax chalk paint to stain the, the bottom part the um, stem part i didn't want to paint that green once i get that complete for this project i'm going to use the other piece of that wood piece that i cut down with the minor box and saw i already stained that little piece so now i just have to attach all three pieces together to create my cute little napkin holder so as you can see i'm just lining up where i want to attach everything and i'm going to add some hot glue and just press everything down on one side and then i'm going to flip it over and add my other leaf piece i think it looks really cute with the print in the inside and the green sage color on the outside so once i get everything connected that will be it i have this really pretty orange color napkins that i found at the dollar tree you can add all any kind of napkins in there but i thought it would be cute just to add these colorful napkins that i had and so i'm just going to place them in there and that is it this is really simple but i absolutely love how this turned out i love that it's budget friendly it's really cute and it's actually functional for the fall season For the next DIY, I'm going to be using one of these wood pencil holders from the Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do is give this one coat of that sage color chalk paint. I'm going to paint the outside, the bottom, and the top rim, but I'm not going to paint the inside. The Dollar Tree put out some really cute fall window clings. So what I'm going to do is choose one off of this sheet that I have. And I like this one that said Celebrate Autumn. So what I'm going to do is just take the window clean. And I'm going to use some Mod Podge to attach it to this pencil holder. Which is now going to be a utensil holder. So what I'm going to do is take some Mod Podge. And I'm just going to add a really thin coat right over where I am going to place the clean. Once I get that complete, I'm just going to place my clean right on top and smooth everything out. And then after that, I am going to go over it again with some more Mod Podge. You can add some greenery in this and it'll be cute but I am going to use it right now for my plastic utensils and I think it is so adorable.
for this DIY I have one of these tall candles from the Dollar Tree and this glass candle holder I'm just going to create a smaller candle and how I melt my candles down is as you can see I just add them to simmering water to boil them down and then I'm just using my knife to pour out the um, wick which you can reuse I found this really nice scent of pumpkin cream and marshmallows from Walmart for two dollars so what I'm doing is just breaking it up and adding it to that wax I did add it back in the water so it can all melt instead of reusing that wick I have this pack of 10 wicks for three dollars and something that I get from Hobby Lobby and so I'm just gonna add some glue to the bottom part and place it right down in the center I'm adding glue to help me keep it right in place and then what I'm going to do is slowly pour that melted wax and those melts into this little jar here. I want to make sure I pour it slow so don't anything splash. I want to make sure that this candle is nice and set smoothly. So I'm just pouring it slowly. And this, I only use one candle with the melts mixed in it. And so this is one candle that it took to fill this jar up once that's set and dries that is it is so perfect I absolutely love it and I thought that scent was perfect for the fall season thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did if so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here as always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.